Hey everybody! Okay. So we're gonna try out this here trial mode, because I guess it's you can get into it as soon as you're say you can start it as soon as you save your game apparently. And you use the save file. And whatever you get in the trial mode, you get to take back to the main game with you. And friend was saying, yeah, there's some pretty ridiculous shit in, like, the first few levels. He also told me that the diamond armlet actually does let you get rare items from chests. So... Wait, these things are giving two LP? Back out, get you, have you steal. We need you to steal from the flowering cactard. And this little mithril blade. Okay, so you have to. I guess there's like supposed to be items on each one of these. So you don't actually get...
Vial of serum. That's fine. Oh well. The thing I'm looking for is actually on, uh... Is actually on the third stage from the flowering cactard. That you're supposed to be able to get like a diamond armlet in the very first uh, trial bit.
They inflict everything <laughs> super bad breath. Or not. Fucking so throw those grenades! Yay! <clears throat> Please do damage to all the little things.
thought you get this. I thought you said you get to save when you got game over. Oh well, whatever. Oh, it sounded like you restarted from. Ah, damn it! It also sounded like you restarted from your uh, from the start every fucking time. Oh, wait, maybe you restart from after because <clears throat> I saved during the trial. Hmm. Oh well. Got quite a bit of. Got quite a bit of stuff out of that though. The <clears throat> the flowering cactar, um. The flower and cactar basically its rare steel is a really powerful sword.
Well, at least I get a couple more bits of swiftness out of it. She has Okay, now she should have all her white magic. Penelope's got all the black magic she can handle. managed to steal something from that. Oh, I stole an extra Mithril Blade. Oh boy. Hey, we're going the right way. Wooly Gator! <coughs> Stab the Wooly Gator. That hostile. Okay, there are flying enemies here, so.
Hmm. Hmm, fuck it, I guess we'll go this way. Never mind. I guess it was just the way the wind was reflecting off it. to go into a big old hole in the ground. I do, I do. Is where we're supposed to go? Probably not. Do I care? Depends on whether the enemies are going to eat my asshole out. This could suck. Are these teleporting tentacle horses? First watch of XP. Where am I? Oh! This is also the Zertinian Caverns. The fuck did I just pick up? Is that like a weapon? Oh, it's a katana with 50 damage. Hmm. Oh, he doesn't have blinder. Yes, yeah, so they're silent. Shoot them. It's weaker, but it gives them evade. Yeah. 
Stop attacking different targets, you fucking retard! How fucking stupid- You're fighting one target, keep fighting that one fucking target, you dumb fucking shitlord! How absolutely fucking retarded. Uh, target nearest. Oh, wait, that thing brushed up against my, the back of my shoulder. I gotta fucking fight that now. How long are you gonna stay? Oh, you're being targeted by that. Okay, he's doing about 800 some odd damage with that. Silicon turtle. Bosch was actually doing less damage. Trying to understand why there are plant tentacle horses, but whatever. Hi. What the fuck are you? Are you win? Are you Sand Satan? Okay. Oh, 
I'm uh, gonna go home now. No, want to be sergeant no more. Well then. I think we found the reason we should fucking leave. I'm content with saying, let's get the fuck out of here after seeing that, because the shambling... It's summoning ads. Saying Satan doesn't like us. Where the fuck are you coming from? What is your bullshit? Shove a firecracker up your ass. Might be a plant horsey, but I'll treat you like a fucking five year old treats a bullfrog. Back in the day. Fucking slobbering barbarian here is gonna go fucking call a duty on your ass. A screeching nine year old. He's gonna fucking throw grenades everywhere. So I don't know what the fuck that was, because I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't think I ever actually explored the depths of this place, although I was told if I want to get another gold amulet, uh, those like mantis bug things that that live down here, near like the entrances that go to the sand sea and whatnot. Uh, if you, it's a rare drop from them, but if you poach them, you can get a it's, it's like a 5% drop if you kill them. But if you poach them, then you get a, uh... If you poach them, you, you're, like, guaranteed to get, like, a tattered cloth. And I guess if you sell that, it you get, like, you can buy a mysterious amulet or something at the bazaar, which is a golden amulet, apparently. It's like I remember it, the first the first time I, I basically saw Final Fantasy XII was pretty much I was I was hanging out over a friend's apartment and then Ben basically came out came out of his bedroom and he's like so you wanna you wanna see the final fight in Final Fantasy XII and I was like fuck it I'm probably never gonna play it <laughs> this is way this is like back back you know shortly after it come out. And, uh, go in there, and he, he's like, okay. He, he basically starts the cutscene leading to the final fight, sets the controller down, and then goes over and starts playing Final Fantasy XI on his computer. I was like, aren't you gonna... Aren't you gonna play the... Play the game? And just like, just, just sit there and watch. And the way he had his gambit set up, and just like, okay, the battle just fucking... Played itself. Well, you... Fucking... Goddamn... How long does stop last? It lasts that long. So do playing horses not drop anything besides vials of fucking bullshit? Oh, I guess that was the rare a rare item when I got that katana. up his Yeah. 
Some things aren't like dying in one fucking hit. Eh, Earth Crystal. A miter. An explosion! Can I hit flying enemies with grenades? I don't know. We'll find out. Frag out! Never mind. Frag out! So yeah, this place is random flying, flying enemies, so... That goes back up there. This looks like it might be an intermediary spot between these two. Yeah. Uh, I have to say that is one thing I fucking hate. Is, oh, it's a flying enemy. You need ranged weapons or magic to attack it. It's like even when the thing is like flapping its ball sack in your fucking face, it's like I need a ranged weapon to hit this. It's right in front of me. I can stab it in the dick from here. No, you need this or this or telekinesis or it's like fuck it. Then you just make it so that everybody can use ranged weapons. Well, you used to be able to make it so that everybody could just use ranged weapons, and then you know. If you got into an area that was that was heavy with flying enemies or something along those lines, and you, you just say, all right, dude, whip out, whip out the fucking bows, shoot them in the dick. Yeah. Now look what you've made me do. Well, the thing is, I thought the, I thought, like, the actual hand bomb thing, I don't think I ever actually used hand bombs before this, but I thought that, I was thinking the actual hand bomb thing was going to be, like, because it's like, okay, you got the hand bombs, and then you got, you got, you got the weapon, and then you have to equip, you know, the, uh, the ammunition, and... You know, I thought it was I thought it was gonna be like, you know, a launching device. Kinda like, you know, the rackets in Final Fantasy Nine, how she kinda how she kinda whips a uh I just blow up a ch I just blew up a chocobo. A hostile chocobo. Oh god, it's Final Fantasy Tactics. Please do not choco meteor me. Oh man, these things are weak. I I feel kind of bad. A slasher? That's probably a dagger. Oh, it's an axe. Wait, a 54... 54... It's an axe that's stronger than... Hmm. Okay, so Jahara isn't this way. What time? My dumbass once again forgot to check and see what, uh... Oh, maybe that's why. It's on stage 11. It saved on stage 11. I wonder if I could restart then. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, it's time to end the video. I'll catch you guys next time.